We started this band about seven years ago, and at that time, in the beginning, the only thing that we knew for sure was that we wanted to travel the world and play music together. This year was going to be the very first time we ever stepped foot into countries like Brazil, Singapore, Indonesia, and so many others that we'd been dreaming of playing for years. So the search was on for the most amazing shows we could find around the world. We were all ready to take in as much culture as possible and do as much crazy shit as we could along the way. But before we could get out on the road and play in front of all these different countries, we had to practice. Southeast Asia, here we come. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How are you gonna cope with the long flight? OJ. There, huh? No, OJ Simpson. I'm gonna watch a lot of Naked Gun movies. Ah. It was a really nice, pleasant 21-hour flight from San Diego to Singapore. One of the things we noticed right away was the incredible and creative architecture. There were buildings and museums that you would never see in America. We're here at uh, some shopping center in Singapore. Uh, about five floors. I think we are the main attraction today. Everyone's just giving us the stink eye. I like it, though. We had a little time, so we decided to do some sightseeing before the show and ride the duck. Hey, run, go, hey, run! Ride the duck tour, but it was pretty cool because we got to go see, uh, I don't know, just some of the crazy buildings and the river. And uh, it's Chinese New Year. Uh, you know, it's a great time, you know? Um, <laughs> I guess uh, the Singapore John Wayne is here. He's like a real big movie star. We're really excited about it. Since we didn't have a show the first night and we were all super pumped to be in this new place, we decided to go check out some of Singapore's nightlife. sold out tonight so it should be pretty fun and uh, we're excited to play because it's been two months and uh, you know get the itch to play a show again so I'm stoked. They say it really fast. It's the best. <laughs> quick.
We were totally blown away by the crowd in Singapore. We got to hang out with some of them and make a few new friends. And the energy while we were playing was completely unreal. Look at the camera. Right. 3.45 in the morning. And uh, there's still kids out here that waited after the show. It's pretty awesome. So I'm going to go say hi to some kids. Oh, you are. But all good things must come to an end, and we found ourselves at the airport later that night getting ready to fly to the Philippines. We arrived the next morning in the Philippines and dove straight into the biggest, most chaotic meet and greet we'd ever done. said this but I'm kind of I'm like my body's kind of hurts from smiling I love it hey! Hey! so normally we meet about 30 to 100 fans tops for one of these things but this one must have been for over 300 people and lasted for over two hours that's enough hey, I'm good out here. it's always crazy meeting up with your friends on the other side of the world The show in Manila was definitely another one for the books. Alright, so I went up there not remembering anything that I, that I sang on the song, but then miraculously remembered everything. It sounded subpar. We arrived in Kuala Lumpur. A few of us woke up early and saw some of the ancient sites, and even chilled with some monkeys. We were like really into them, and I kind of had a big crush on Vic. Everybody for did for the longest time. I didn't. <laughs> So far, this place was the furthest from home we'd ever felt, and it was the perfect time to explore and hang out with the locals. Hey! Ridiculous. Can't wait to come back. We're uh, headed to the airport right now, headed to Jakarta. Never been there. What's, what's, what's Jakarta gonna be like? Probably, probably Indonesia. I heard, uh, I heard nothing but traffic. It's crazy. 
Jakarta was definitely one of those places that can't be described without actually experiencing it for yourself. On our hour and a half trip from the airport to the hotel, we, uh, we hit a car. <laughs> and our driver thought it'd be a good idea to just keep going. Um, I mean, I won't lie, this is the craziest place. So we found out pretty quickly that there weren't a whole lot of rules here. They put babies on the front of their motorcycles. Nothing compares to this place. Very tough life. Our tour manager scouted out an exotic resort down the street from the venue that we were playing. It was unlike anywhere we'd ever stayed before. Our motto has always been to take full advantage of the places we visit. Because if you're hungry, if you want to eat a cracker, I can give you a cracker. So we had a full day off and we decided to visit the Grand Palace, located right in the heart of Bangkok. We We're about to go uh, to the temple in, uh, in Bangkok and they won't allow us to wear shorts or tank tops. So they provided us with this fly ass Versace wear, Gucci, and uh, we're looking clean. This is expensive shit. This place was originally built for kings and royalty, but now serves as a museum for tourists to explore. We went in the Southeast Asia not knowing what to expect and left there with smiles on our faces from all the amazing shows and just good solid vibes all around. Peace out Asia, thanks for uh Thailand. Oh, there we go. Thanks for having a good time. Even though we were all really jet lagged from flying almost every single day to all these different countries, we had to get ready to play one of the biggest festivals in the world, Soundwave in Australia. about to play our first Soundwave show. I can hear Offspring playing over there right now. I just got done watching Blink. It's insane. Fuck yeah, Soundwave! Soundwave is arguably the best and biggest music festival in Australia. We'd been hearing about it for years and always wanted to play it. It's definitely one of those places that truly makes us feel like we have the best job in the world. Everyone played really good. Jaime sang about three words. His voice was really, really shot, and it sucked. I had to come fill in a lot of the time. But other than that, it was a really good show. I mean, I'm really proud of them. They were, did a really hot job. Walking down the prison steps here, Adelaide, Australia. All the green rooms are prison cells. Very, 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 very sketch.
our Soundwave shows so far had been nothing short of amazing, and it seemed as if we were going to finish the tour off strong, until things suddenly took an unexpected turn on our last show in Perth. Last day in Perth, and uh, halfway through our set, stage manager here uh, told us to pull the plug. We have no idea why. Metallica is still playing. Our friends are still playing. We're the only stage that got shut down. What happened? Really? All right. Well, interesting. Apparently, we're not allowed to play anymore because the whole venue is being shut down. We come all the way from fucking America to see you guys, and this is the shit that happens. I'm sorry. They obviously want someone. They obviously want to clear the site. This part of the site. So they're getting away. But they didn't tell you who. They paid to see one fucking band. Manager to shut it off. What? Yeah. So we need. I need to get someone from production. He's literally trying to get shit off the stage. I understand that. And he shut us off five minutes ago. There's a lot of people. Here's the bill. There's fucking thousands of kids still wanting us to play, and we can't do anything about it. Sorry, Perth. Finished up the last day. Uh, overall, it was a pretty insane, awesome tour. Yeah, we were stoked to be on it, but it's time to go home. We got about like 20 something hour flight here, so it's gonna be brutal. After spending a few weeks in Australia and Southeast Asia, it was time to come back home to the States for a headlining tour that we'd all been looking forward to for a long time. We called it the Street Youth Rising Tour. Insane. Oh man, I'm putting this on and walking out there. Oh god, yes. Walk the line with that. Oh my god, I This tour was an opportunity for us to put on our own show for our fans, to do our own production, and to choose our best friends' bands to come out on the road with us. Keep it nice and tight. But a little loose. We had recorded a song on our album with our buddy Jason from the band Let Lake, and these shows gave us the perfect opportunity to play this song live, the way it was meant to be played. Yeah. 
It's kind of like Vegas. <laughs> This girl with the black eyes and skin touched by hot winds and sunshine will be waiting in Reno tonight, and this is the night she'll be mine. Waiting in Reno for my arms to find her and hold her. <laughs> waiting and hoping that I <laughs> will not be far behind her. That was the guy Excitement in her fingertips. Passion is there. She'll be waiting in a real At the end of the day, the one thing we can always look forward to is playing an awesome show. It's been so long since I've seen her, but I still remember. This is our confetti from the night we're going to go. We're backstage and saw the mouse just played here. So nice dressing room. Getting ready. Champagne everywhere. This is how we really do it. was a success and it was time to say goodbye to our friends and move on to the next one. We were about to embark on the biggest headlining tour we'd ever done as a band and all of us were feeling pretty anxious as we prepped for the Spring Fever tour. We had never done anything on this big of a scale before. The rooms were massive, the stages were huge, and we knew we had to step up every aspect of our game this time around. We've always been a band that has put a lot of hard work into our live shows. And this tour gave us the perfect opportunity to do the things that we had always wanted to do and put on something really special for our fans. There's, got, there's so much more paint to be done. There's, a fine. there's never enough time. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Sound check. Boston. Probably the biggest show we've ever played. 
It's gonna be insane. Can't wait. It's gonna be fucking crazy. As the tour rolled on, we were starting to realize that this truly was the pinnacle of everything that we'd been striving for over the years. We were loving every second of every show, taking in each moment and embracing this time that we had. It was an indescribable feeling to see so many fans coming out to the shows and singing along to the songs that we'd worked on in our small practice space back home. For my next trip, what? I'm gonna show you how to drink a beer Pick in less me. than 30 seconds. Oh, I hate it. I actually have no. five seconds. They have this. Wow. Oh my god. Oh my god. I need him to play a show tonight. Ten seconds. Oh. Ten seconds. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. Six. Adam's apple. Five. Yeah, frozen. <laughs> That's ice. Oh, oh, great freeze. Oh. Was, was it good for all you guys? Nice. Yeah, I was very impressed. Very impressed. Thank you. Oh. Would you like to see some magic? Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah. Oh! <laughs> Me coming! Whoa! Welcome. You suck! <laughs> San Diego, we're having a barbecue, hanging out with our buddies. Yeah! Playing American uh, games yeah. like floor hole. That's three points! Hometown shows are always the best. We come from sunny San Diego, but since we're on tour so much year round, we hardly ever really get to enjoy it. These are my famous jalapenos and habanero poppers. With a little raspberry sauce on top. I just get away from my recipe so I'm have to kill you. So whenever we're home, we try to take as much time as we can to chill with our friends and family. Liddell, you bitch. Ah! No, 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 no. Let's just slap people. Really <laughs> God damn it. But you gotta let it happen, though. All right. <laughs> give me one. Okay, come on, give it to me. I don't want to give it to you, man. <laughs> I'm used to taking it, man. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. I'm hearing something. I gotta, I gotta listen to this. I'm hearing it in the ears. I'm hearing it in the in-ear monitors. Yes. It is confirmed. This is the craziest show of the entire tour. See, this tour was... <laughs> <laughs> I was hanging out with this guy on work tour real quick. My friend, uh, I was trying to run out of the job for On the last show of the tour, we brought out all the bands on stage, cracked a bottle of champagne, and reflected on an epic experience that none of us will ever forget.
It was a bittersweet moment having to say goodbye to so many amazing people on this tour. But as they say, the show must go on, so we wrapped things up and called it a day. Get onto the Radio on website right now to see their beautiful faces on Twitter, hashtag PTV on R1. Basically, boys, you have officially broken Twitter. You've both broken the internet. Yeah, thanks very much. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're now trending, I think, number one in the UK just because of you guys. Oh, wow. I swear that never happens to me. It never happens. <laughs> but it definitely never happens to us. Without even skipping a beat, we packed our bags and headed straight to the UK for a handful of crazy club shows, a few festivals, and even our very first award ceremony. First World Problems. Favorite band is playing on the main stage. Boyfriend's crappy band is on at the same time on the second stage. <laughs> First World Problems. We're here. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Black on black. Nice. The mic is here. There's two kinds of shows. Shows that have barricades and shows that don't. The first show in Brighton was completely nuts. So we decided to celebrate. I like drinking whiskey with my friends. None of us were expecting what would happen next. Where's the, where the bus was parked before? So there's the awning, we jumped off of it, took the trailer, then from the trailer to the floor, and then on the bus. When I jumped on the trailer, I must have landed. And my foot, like, just, I don't know. You sprained it? I, I don't know what I did. It just hurts. That is fucked. DVD film. There we go. It's a nice, it's a lovely place. It's gonna be on eBay American tonight TV. or American TV. Yeah, American oh, TV. Famous under here. Yeah, can we push it forward? Okay, let's go back here. Yeah, yeah, okay. Let's do a quick concentrate. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I've checked with my colleague and she thinks it's good. She's flat. No. And I've checked with the radiographer and she thinks it's good. It's flat. Broken. I realized that I still had a job to do though, and that there was no way in hell that I was going to let it stop me from playing these shows.
So far, these UK shows had been the craziest we'd ever played over here. But tonight, a sold out show in London was about to take things to a whole new level. Honey, the girl with the red jacket right over there in the balcony, first balcony. Right there, put your hands up, red jacket girl. Here we go. Out, one more try. Close. for a year and when I saw they were going to have a G here I just uh, was like man I got to go and see them. Yeah. Big, Mike, Jamie, Tom, me, you're doing it great man. Keep keep going. <laughs> Go hang out at the uh, the Guinness factory and the Jameson factory. A couple sharp names, as Jaime would say. Mm-hmm. One of the many perks of being in a band is being able to visit all these rad places. I mean, especially when they involve beer. Sometimes we get some pretty strange gifts from our fans, but without fail, Jaime finds a way to make them even stranger. Find somebody that's about my size. Lucky fan. I'm to tell you a story here. I didn't enjoy the show because I only have one foot, but I will tell you, Ireland parties harder than any other fucking country I've ever been into. So, none shall pass, except Ireland. How you doing, It's always been a dream of ours to attend a real English Premier League soccer game. 
Dreams happen to come true sometimes. And on this tour, we were finally able to make that happen. Priest is so stoked. And even though our seats totally sucked, we still had the best time of our lives. And I am very happy, and I am very intoxicated. These lovely people just yeah, been for free. Said California is the place you want to be, so the loaded up the truck can get up the Beverly Hills. That maybe not then. Are you playing the race? You, you the main band? Yeah, yeah. You must be quite popular, though. There's the bail! So after the game, we headed to the venue to find a line of fans down the block. Are you filming? Manchester! A one, a two, a three! So after sweating it out in clubs throughout the UK, it was time to tackle a couple festivals that we'd never played before. UK and Europe are known for having some of the most massive festival shows in the world, and we were super stoked to get involved and see what they were all about. So as if having one gimpy leg bastard in the band wasn't enough, Jaime passed his crutches on to me after I rolled my ankle on stage during the last UK show, tearing a tendon and chipping a piece of bone in my right foot. All I can do is just say, huh, <laughs> that sucks. With the last remaining festival shows in Germany to go, all I could do was wrap up my ankle the best I could, hike up my skirt, and suck it up for two more. Okay. Last show of the tour. Maybe. We've been going for six months. Seven months. Seven months. And we get a break after the show. So after uh, this. I'm going to sleep for ten days. Put a boot on it. Once again, gaff tape. Put a boot on it. Binds the universe together. I just stretch it out because it's going to get a lot of drama. There you go. A lot of this. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Nothing to bad in every night. The very first time here playing a show for you Germans I was so exciting. Argentina, wherever at. German. This is just terrible. Danke schön. Es gibt genau zwei wirklich große Rap. So even with two injured guys in the band, we managed to have an amazing time in Germany. At the Kerrang Awards on Thursday, you guys are up for three. 
Four, is there three? competition. Yeah. Four, yeah. We're at a five-star hotel in London, eating someone's left That's so how we roll. We got lucky in London and landed a fancy hotel to stay in for the Krang Awards. We never thought we'd be invited to an award show, so we decided to polish ourselves up a bit and look smart for the festivities. Hey, man, <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? Do you want what, what award are you up for? Uh, let's see, we're best, for best international uh, newcomer. Yeah, international newcomer, international band, best single, uh, and then video. Best, oh, yeah, best, best hot sauce. Best, best, best Mexican name, every, and every band. major category. You gotta thank Castle Hot. You gotta thank the Queen. I really don't know what to expect. I'm kind of just going in, yeah, just hoping to have a good time, which I'm hearing everyone has a great time there. I heard there's a uh, free news. Yeah, we're going to the Krang Awards. Yeah, do it. Oh, oh yeah. So as soon as we arrived, we realized that this night was going to be madness. We were surrounded by friends, fans, and even some true legends from bands like Queen, Slayer, and Metallica. The carpet wasn't even red. I don't know what's happening right now. We're supposed to be doing interviews and I'm not sure. <laughs> Somehow we were nominated for four awards that night. And it came down to the very last one for best video. And with our fingers crossed, we were hoping to take something home. The winner is... Peace surrounded by all the people that we've been inspired by. So many people in this room have pretty much inspired all of our albums and I really appreciate that. Thank you guys, we love you guys. This is an honor, thank you guys. All right, uh, we just won a Krang Award for best video for King Birdie. That was fucking awesome. Uh, let's get some drinks. We got a Kering Award. I get to come home. Thank you so much. After a quick stop at home to grab a burrito and a couple supplies, we headed to a place that we had been dreaming about going to for the last seven years. My mom here. She's uh, drops us off at the airport to go to South America. Oh yeah. We just arrived in Buenos Aires, and let me tell you, the air is nice in Buenos Aires. Mike's doing it wrong. This is their 50 years. Oh, wow. We are in the 50 years old. All right. Thank you very much. We're going to sell those tickets, you know? Give you a plate of meat. You just tear at it like a dog. Look, there's a dog over here. From the moment we stepped off the plane in South America, we were greeted by a group of fans at the airport. It was really nice to have such a warm welcome so far away from home. <laughs> Your fans. Uh oh, here's Tony with the first one. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> this one is King's Less. <laughs> Bad idea. 
Oh! oh that right. was a good one. Assistance. So it says that? Hey, someone write a sign that says The worst I, airplane! I, 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 the worst airplane! <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one? Go. Go. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Paulo, Brazil, we're about to fuck shit up. I'm fucking pissed right now. Yes! We have to put our bags on our chest so nobody steals anything out of us. This is the first time. The great thing about fans in South America is that they are so passionate and they don't hold anything back. On our way back to our hotel in Brazil, we made a few new friends and gave some sketchy high fives. Security guard Mohammed. We're in Santiago, Chile. I guess there's a lot of kids, kids outside. Raptors. There's a lot of raptors. Thank you. And this time, we had no choice but to adopt their customs. Jesus. <laughs> My favorite fish is a clam. Is that <laughs> We're in Santiago, Chile for the very first time. Towns in Maryland in our life. We're not in Towson, in Maryland. <laughs> uh, we're, we're surrounded by kids at our hotel, uh, fearing for my life. We're gonna be kids. There's a bunch of kids out there. As we pulled up to the venue in Santiago, we realized that the show was going to be nothing like any other show that we'd ever played. There was no back entrance, so we had no choice but to try and make it in through the front. But there was only one small problem. It's unsafe. Yes, it's unsafe. It's unsafe. Yes. 100% unsafe. We need more time. Tell me to bear Okay? 100% is unsafe. Yes. Unsafe. Okay. I can do it one on one. You first, you go. This was one of the craziest things we had ever seen, and all this was just to get inside the venue. So we couldn't even imagine what the actual show was going to look like. Thank you. 
Ham tossing, I see. You want to try a ham toss? Do it on my. Not a big ham tosser. Over ham or under ham? You try to win. Oh, I did not see that. That's my point. Same as this. So we're out here in Mexico City at uh, Pierceville Wolf Tour Merch Row. There's more booths of bootleg merch than I've ever seen in my life. We came into this tour knowing that there was going to be a lot of counterfeit merch and people selling things outside the menus. Oh, this one I did like three years ago. But rather than being upset and trying to shut them down, we went out and collected a couple of goodies to bring home to our friends. Show. Crazy show we've ever played by ourselves anywhere. Uh, it's gonna be fucked up. I'm a little, I'm a little nervous just because we're like not even close to home right now. Looking back on the last year of touring, it all just seems like such a crazy dream. We've met so many inspiring people and shared so many good times with our friends along the way, it's almost hard to go home. As far away and unreachable as they seemed, we wanted to visit these places for our fans who had waited so patiently for us to make it to their hometowns. They are truly the ones who have given us the opportunity to do what we love. After traveling to all these countries and playing some of the most memorable shows of our lives, there was only one thing left to do. Woke up very early to make very bad decisions all day. Run to hop on the tequila train. This is what we wanted to see. We're in Tequila, Mexico, where they make tequila. Los trabajos que pasé en ese campo.